Uh, hello, everybody. Norm here again. That's right, bringing you a second installment of Skyblock Fantasy Style. The Fantasy Skyblock. And why do I call it fantasy? Well, as you can see here, I got some fun little winged particles to follow me wherever I go. Mm -hmm. Now they are, yeah, they're, I like them. Okay, so we're going to be starting off today's episode with a different texture pack called Coterie Craft. Or Coterie Craft. However you want to pronounce it. Now, if you take a look here, I got a couple extra things. You can see my balance is now $7,500. What did I do in between the two episodes? Well, simple. I voted. That's right. Every time you vote on this server, you get $1.5,000. So, that's kind of what's going on here. Secondly, you may notice these. These uh, Frost Crate Keys. Yes, they're tripwire hooks, but here they are worth something. You get one every time you vote or every time you finish a CAPTCHA, uh, which just rolls by every once in a while. It says, hey, retype this word or guess this word, and you're going to get a, a little prize. I am going to be turning these off, though, really quick here. So let's just do that and turn off the particles. There we go. No more trails. Okay, so let's take a look here. What's in the first one? What am I going to win? Peasant's Kit. Gives me some tools. Cool. Number two. Three more frost freak. Three more keys. Huzzah. Three diamonds. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Let's see here. What do we got to get? 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 We got three more diamonds. I like that. We can make a pickaxe now. One Gaia. Ooh. A Gaia crate key. So that's a different crate that we're going to go get some stuff from. Another Gaia crate. Ooh, this is turning out to be really good. Okay. Sponges. Sponges, they used to have no, they used to have like no significance whatsoever. Some servers would use them as currency. Uh, now they soak up water, so that's cool. What did I get here? Three more Frost Crate keys. Awesome. So you can see, this server does reward you pretty well for voting. Uh, as well as doing other things here. So, let's see. Three more keys. Wow. I am just a key maniac. I might have to fast forward this. Another peasant's kit. More tools. Okay, well, that's cool, actually. I, this stuff I don't have to build. Nine more! Okay, here we go. I got somebody else in the background there staring at me. Another peasant's kit. I have tools for days. Iron horse armor! I have no idea what I would use that for on Skyblock, but okay. And the last one is... Ding! More tools! Okay, I got a lot of tools here. Uh, before we go use this, let's go back to the island and see what we have done. Yay, I'm on the sky. What? Okay, that's right. So, here's what I've done in the little bit of time. I put a crate down there. I got a crate over there. In here, you'll see I have nothing anymore, but the diamonds, I think, are just going to go. Nope, they're not. I'm going to put all these tools in there. That's what I'm going to do. Nah, 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 nah. Except for these. That's kind of nice to have. I got me some shovels and axes and stuff for days, man. Just days. Axes and all that kind of cool stuff. All right. We're going to throw the sponge in there for now. Same with the iron horse armor. And I got enough iron to make a hopper. And because the hopper now, whenever I mine, everything just gets sucked right up in there. And it is oh so deliciously simple. I'm loving it. You can see my iron pickaxe. Not taking too much durability damage, but I used up all my iron. So that's something we're going to have to be doing again here shortly, sometime soon. So let's go back to the spawn. As you can see, the watermelons are starting to grow. That big tree is down. I replanted some saplings. This one has yet to grow. But we're also going to show you what some MC MMO stuff does a little bit later on. So for now, we're just going to go back to spawn. Do 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 do. Hello, Joseph. Do 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 do. Hello, Jacob Kitty. And we're going to go back over. Let's see. We can fly since we're in spawn. We're going to go all the way back over to the Gaia Crate. Okay. We got two Gaia Crate keys. Let's see what's in this one. Some upgraded stuff here. What am I going to get? What am I going to get? Nobleman's Kit! What gives me that? Oh, diamond! Diamond enchanted stuff. Cool. And an Ember Crate. Ooh, Lord. Ember Crate. You can only get these from that crate there. And if you donate. But, uh, so these should be giving you a whole bunch of cool stuff. Let's see, let's see what I could win. If you left click, it'll show you. So, 
A royalties kit, a nobleman's kit, a dragon egg, 16 diamonds, one spawner, or three keys of each, well, one key of each, 100 MCMMO credits, or $100,000. What are we going to get? Let's find out. Right click! Nah! 100 MCMMO credits! Yes! That actually helps out a lot. Um... I think, you know, I don't know what we're going to be putting that to just yet. I'm going to hold on to him for now. Normally on Skyblock, the best way to do MCMMO that I've found, uh, for myself at least, is by doing the green thumb and gardening thing. So I don't know what I just picked up either. But look at that. Looting one, unbreaking one. Efficiency two, unbreaking one. Unbreaking one. Fortune for a pickaxe. That's good. And unbreaking and efficiency two. We uh. are burping but we are set to go so let's go back to our island our island our home away from home why does it always do that i need to fix that okay so what are we going to do here where are we going to put our tools like i have this thing okay see that's not that i just dyed my stuff blue but what are we going to be doing here we have a lava bucket which we could put in the auction house oh auction house that's right by the way auction house auctiony auction auction house we're going to use this peasant axe as an example. Peasant's pickaxe. So the auction house, I do have a tutorial set up already on a previous episode uh, a while back. So I'll post a link to it. But very quick, the auction house is kind of like a... Oh, wow. Someone was really going happy with the uh, the horse armor there. That's that's good old Jake's Bez. So you can see here, you can see what other players are auctioning off and for how much. So I don't even have enough to buy a spawner right now, but... A blaze spawner would be nice. A pig spawner would be really good for infinite meat. Blaze, blaze, pig. What's next? How to sell them item. Next page. And some other stuff. So, ice crate keys. Wow, that's quite a bit there. Okay. I'd say that's almost too much, in my opinion. But let's say we want to sell something. So we're just going to do slash A-H. And then sell. And then we're just going to sell this for like 100. Boom. There we go. See? No problemo. No problemo at all. Okay, so let's go harvest our watermelons really quickly here. And yes, if you use fortune with an axe and harvest melons, you get more slices. I'm totally aware of that. But today, I'm wondering what we should do. Should we build a house first? Because if we build a house, it's going to be in the style of this texture pack so it might not look good texture pack resource pack whatever you want to call it snickers you've changed you don't look the same you looked cuter i know why what is this stuff is this like gravel or something like is it gravel it is gravel okay see i'm still trying to figure out everything on here so what are we gonna do where are we gonna go what are we gonna get well I did vote, so that does give me access to the voter mine. And the voter mine is where you go once you vote to be able to get some things that either you would have to buy normally or things that just aren't really readily available. And I think that's where we're going to go. So we're going to go to the warp of the voter mine. And we're just going to mine some things here. I need glass, and there's also challenges of the island to get glass. Now, this looks like, what, clay block? Okay, that's red sand. Okay. So that looks like what? Regular sand? Cobble? I, okay, maybe... I don't know what this is. Red sand? What are you... Oh! Clay! Yes! Give me some clay! Diamond! Definitely getting diamond. So as you can see here... Fortune didn't give me anything there, but... Haha! -ha, yes, a ray bomb! We can get some dirt and clay and sand and everything here! I'm going dig happy! Oh, and I'm, I'm on ice. I don't know. Is this regular ice, or is this... That's packed ice. I need silk touch for that. Okay. Nah. There we go. Got some more diamonds. More diamonds for everybody. Yeah. Why all of a sudden am I sounding like Arnold Schwarzenegger? A really, really bad impersonate? I don't know why. I should probably stop that. Anyway, we're going to do, do a little bit of harvesting here to try and get some sand and maybe find some more diamonds. Like those. And uh, I'll be right back.
Get myself some clay and some diamonds. Do, 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 do. Get myself some gravel too. And some more sand. And some more sand. And got some clay there and some sand there and some clay everywhere. Nah. Eh! The oh, crap. Why does that take so long? Oh, because I'm flying. That's right. Yeah. There we go. Nyah, nyah. Really don't need that stuff, but okay. So we are going to be taking some of our stuff here. I know I said I'd be right back, but we are going to be taking some of this stuff and selling it because I don't really have a need for gravel at this point other than a, uh, a nice little looking block. But, uh, yeah. Got five diamonds so far. Got about ten sand. We're going to need a little bit more sand because we need to go get a cactus somehow. So I want to start a cactus farm because you can sell those for about six bucks each and that is a good way to make some money! I'm, I'm stuck. There we go. I'm not stuck anymore. But clay, I mean, come on, man. Clay is hard to get. Then you got to diet and all that kind of stuff. And as a fat person, I don't like the word diet, but normally I'll diet this. So, yeah, we're going to go there. Okay. Ooh, glowstone dust. Okay, and we are back. So I got about five diamonds, which is fine. I wasn't wanting a lot of diamonds. We got some dirt, some gravel, some cobblestone, some coarse dirt. Don't know why we want coarse dirt. I think we're going to smelt the red sand and a little bit of the regular sand here, too. I think I'm just going to cut that in half. There we go. Yeah. Got a stack and a half of clay, which is just fine. But, uh, oh, and we got some glowstone dust because of the uh, MCMMO stuff here. So let's throw the rest of this. In there. I'm going to throw that oath sewn sword in there for now because we're not going to need it. I uh, have the island lit up pretty well, I'd say. Yes, pretty well, but we are going to grab just enough here. Nyah. For one more furnace. Because who only uses one furnace? People who don't have a lot of cobblestone. Well, I have cobblestone now, my friends. I have cobblestone. And wha! There we go. So we're going to take about half that charcoal there, throw it in there, smelt you, smelt you. All right. We'll be right back after these important... No, I'm kidding. Okay, so the next project is here is we need to clear some land. I made these things really quick. I think we're just going to start off by making a derpy house. Uh, not a very, very fancy one. Just one that starts off enough because we don't, we don't really have a lot of good resources. We got a bit of gold, but I don't know. I want a lot more clay. Clay is what I want. I love clay. We have a cactus and we have sand. So first off, let's take that sand here. And let's start growing some cactus too. Cacti, cactu, cact you, cact me. Cact everyone in the cacting world. Okay, there we go. So now here's the nice thing about MCMO. For those of you who don't know what MCMO is or what it does, you can right click and then chop with an ax and boom, the whole tree goes away. Uh, the higher your MCMO skills for tree cutting, the longer it lasts and the, the better things you get. So, see it's already fallen away though, so I can't use it again. Now I gotta chop this tree down normally. But that's okay, because I want a diamond axe. I want a diamond axe, I want a diamond axe, diamond axe, and I have a lot of saplings in my chest. So we're just gathering this for wood, 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 wood. Oh, we got a little bit of an extra growth there. Okay. And, of course, get a little server lag or whatever lag every once in a while. You want a call lag. I don't care. Meep. Okay. So, I'm wondering. Let's go through here. Nope. Okay. It's not ready yet. Do-do. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. 
So I think all the trays are down. We just need to get this stuff out of the way. Yes. Axes really don't make a difference at first. What I should do is get some shears. Yes! I need iron first for the shears, though. All right, throw that in there. We got some oak logs. We got some regular oak planks as well. Got some sand, which we're not going to be using. Some gravel. Just trying to figure out what we're going to do. So first off, I think we're going to be using some cobblestone. That's right, we're going to be doing this old school. Old schoolay. Why do I have another sapling? They just keep falling. Stop falling, saplings. I don't like it. They're just mean. Okay, so since we only have oak wood to use, it's not going to be that fancy of a house. Let's just let's just be honest here. It's not going to look that that great. Uh, but we're going to try. We're going to try our best to do exactly what we can for this here. So, get that out of the way. Get that out. That out. Yeah, maybe later on we can grow a big old tree. Like uh, some dark oak or something. Hollow that out and live inside that. That's always fun. Always a very easy way to make a house, too. You don't gotta worry about building it, per se. You just gotta worry about growing it. Ah, oak like sapling! I love this music. Okay, so let's just get this out of here for now. How far back are we gonna build this? We have that. Let's get that out of the way. And that, that. Okay. How should we do this? Always build the foundation first. Foundations are important. Let's see here. Yay! First one down! Clap, clap, clap. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. That's going to be pretty small to live in. Let's go nine. Ooh, see, that even gave me some herbalism. Okay, there we go. So now one, two, three, four, five. Always want to do in odd numbers. That's one thing I've learned with Minecraft here, but that's going to give us a three wide space. You know what? We can deal with it. I've had smaller places. Smaller, I say. Okay, so we got the foundation laid out. Perfect. Let's see what else we need. Sorry about that, I got interrupted. Okay, here we go. Uh, we're gonna put down some flooring. Yes, yes, I know what you're thinking. My building style does look slightly kind of like Corellis. Well, I use him for inspiration, so... Okay. That's right. I said... Okay, what else do we need? We need this here. So, one, two, three. There we go. We're going to go three up here. Uno, dos, tres. Uno, dos, tres. Cuatro minus uno equals tres. Going to get rid of that. We're going to have to be a tall house because I like tall. And it's only going to be one level for now. Just need the sleeping area. That's all we really need. Uh, what else do I need, though? What else do I need or what else do I want? I'm not sure. But... Let's see here. How much charcoal do I have left? I got a lot of charcoal. I got some glass here. That's enough glass to keep us for a while, because we're turning that into... Oh, what are you? Light gray? You know what? We're going to take you. Because we're going to make some dyed glass here. There we go. Just a little different. Not by much. Just a little. There we go. Pains, pains, pains. Put you and you in there, as well as you and you. What else? We got some bones. I guess I could have just made them white, but that's okay. Be quiet, Snickers. We're going to smelt some cobblestone. That's what we're going to do. We're going to smelt some cobbly cobblestone. We'll be right back once it's done being smelted. Are you done yet? No? How about you? No? All right, well, we we're, not, we're not really going to need that till the end anyway, so... Let's do this here. We're going to make some stairs. Nah, nah. There we go. And I didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. We got these. Boom. Perfect. Okay, my phone's going off. People are coming into my room. It's wonderful. It's so beautiful. I am so not amused. We're going to put the door right there. So, boom. And then, should we do a window like that? Yes. 
This is pretty much just a Corella style house. I'm not taking any kind of credit for this. Unless I wanted to. But we are going to have one side that has no windows because, well, we need to kind of put some stuff somewhere. And uh, that's kind of a good plan to have. All right. Now we need more planks. Planks? Why planks? Well, simply because we kind of need them. Wah! Hoopa! Almost. Almost made it. Okay. I guess this is just going to be kind of a building episode, huh? Not exactly sure, but maybe. We'll just cut in and out whenever I get bored or something or whatever time. We've already been recording for 20 minutes, so yeah, it's definitely going to be cut. There we go. Ow. Yeah, we're putting in the window sills, the window sills, the window. Don't you dare do that. Window sills don't go that way. This is the way they go, oh my gosh. Down to teach you how to be a window sill, my friend. There we go. Boom. Perfect. Don't you change. You're perfect just the way you are. Okay. See, nice little house. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay. So here we go. Time to pillar up here, like a pro, like a boss. Boom. Boom. You see what we're doing here? Yeah. Yeah, you see what we're doing. Mm. But we're going to do it a little differently. We're going to do it norm style. Uh, there's my phone again. Bzz, bzz. Got that, got that, got that, got that. There we go. And boom. That, 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 that. 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 Okay. Perfect. Uh -huh. Then I will be right back once this is done. Okay. And we are done. We got ourselves a little bit of a, just a little tiny bit, a little starter house. This is going to change as we get more stuff as we build our island outward. Don't you worry. Yes, I got a little bit more stone just in case I was going to need it, but... I really don't. However, we are going to do something uh, that I think will be a bit fun. We're just going to do this really quick here. Make some stairs. There we go. Yes. And make some slabs. Perfect. And then we're just going to pillar up using stone because why not? That's right, because we're badass. All right, here we go. Boom. Boom. With a little bit of stone breakage in between. There we go. That's all. Ow. I forgot I didn't put a gap there. All right. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be moving our things from the outside into the inside. I'm going to be doing that off camera, but for now, I'm Norm. You're beautiful. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye on how to use the brand new auction house plugin which was installed earlier today so it's pretty simple there's only really two commands that you need to know the first one is slash a h you type that you hit enter it brings up the auction house what this does is it shows everything that somebody has set up for auction at a certain price and if you deem the price is fair you can go ahead and purchase it like uh Someone's selling a cave spider spawner for 